Hi, welcome back, my dear student. In this lecture here, I want to show you something that we call getters and setters. Uh, basically, what we do is we build a method that is able to set values and um, get values. And these values are usually um, pulled from private properties in the class. All right? So we already did something very similar to it right here. All right, but I want you to get that concept because it's super, super important for you to understand it. So let's do a save as real quick here and let's check it out. So I'm just going to call this setters. Let's just take the class thing out, uh, keyword out, setters underscore getters. All right, so I'm just Actually, I'm not going to remove anything. I'm just going to rename this. And I'm just going to say get wheels. Actually, get values. Get underscore values, I'm going to call this. All right? So this is going to be able to get values from here somewhere. Right? And I'm just going to take this out because this is going to be the only private one that's going to be there. There we go. All right, and I'm going to build another method, and this one I'm going to call it set values. All right, so in this one, we're going to set a value here for door count to 10. All right, so let's see how this works. right and let's go ahead and check it out so get values so all I'm doing right now is changing the name of that method so that I we can call it down here as you can see there hopefully you understand what's going on there and I'm just gonna organize it there a little bit so that way you can see it all right so let me recap a little bit we have a private property right here that can only be accessed right inside the class so if I call this property right here like we did on the last example we would not be able to get anything we would get an error saying we cannot you cannot access a private property right like we did on the last one but right now what we're gonna be doing is using this method right here get values to get that private property out to get that value out of there right so every time we call this method right here we are able to access this private property and we are also able to set values with this method right here all right this is something that we would we would never be able to do outside here um, if we were not using this set, uh, getter and setter methods that's why usually what is usually called in programming in object oriented programming okay so let's first check it out so I'm going to echo this out here all right so let's let's try the first one I'm gonna go back here and refresh there we go and let's uh, setters and getters there we go so we're able to see that it is working right there let's go and try to see if we call the other one what happens right so I'm gonna copy this one and I'm gonna paste it right before so if I paste this method right before here it's gonna set the value to 10 right now it's 4 right so let's change the va the name of it first set values right so look what happens to this 4 refresh it turns into 10 twice right because now let me we don't even have to actually echo this out right here refresh there we go so now when we call this method right here, right, it comes before, it sets the value to 10, and then we call the other one that echoes it. All right? So you can see that. And then if, if we wanted to, we can also change it to, we can make another one, you know, and set values to 100 and keep changing it depending on the order that we have it right here. So this is how we use getters and, and, and setters in PHP OOP. This way we can access some of the information that is in, in a private modifier. 
This way we can control our program's uh, flow a lot better and we are able to keep things private so that way we don't get a lot of conflict inside our programs. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this lecture here. Keep motivated, keep doing it, keep practicing. If you're watching me and not doing this exercise, you need to get stop right now and do it. Restart the video and start doing it. This way you will learn a lot more, trust me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.